Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about CSS. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what do you prefer? SAS, SCSS, C just plain CSS, or post CSS? Well, I will I will say that for my personal projects I usually use post CSS, but I'm not really married to that in any way. Uh, the reason why I don't use just raw CSS is because uh, I need a uh, uh, that I uh, I actually just use one feature from most like for, from all of this like all the features that you have in SAS and CS, CSS and so forth are I don't use any of them because I know that the the output of these files like most of the time I don't actually need looping constructs or anything like that almost always. I, since I use BEM, I am actually better off by just using the import capabilities. That's the thing that I'm after. And you can do that in SAS, SCSS, PostCSS, or LESS, whichever you're using. And I've just found, based on some very basic look, uh, looking through, that PostCSS is very quick at the comp in compilation of, uh, of the files. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I just want to uh, be able to import uh, what I usually my, my architecture for my personal workflow is usually very simple I have an entry point file which I call the main file and in that entry point file I simply import all the different files for different modules because I usually work in modules you create a say a component and that component has a scss file or sorry a post css file uh, and all the, I really do is that I import it directly so it's just one big long file of import statements that I then can I can compile that into an sing, a single big uh, CSS file with all my rules and I don't use it most like almost never never like, I mean if I need variables or anything like that I use standard S S CSS variables uh, and I don't really use middlewares all that much I might use it here and there. I can post this as does have support for that, so I, it's not like I need. It's not like the, the differences between these guys is for me like completely ambiguous. You can literally just spit in the air and pick one. Uh, SAS or SCSS are probably the better choices if you're dealing with. Uh, well, at the very least, they're the more popular choices in many cases. They are very normal things to find in projects that have been around for a little while. Post CSS may not be as adopted, it's just that for me it's the simplest, simplest thing. But once again, I can at the drop of a hat just say, now nah, you know what, I'm just gonna use SAS instead or if if it fits my use cases more. And if I were to figure out that, oh no, you know, actually uh, post CSS is not the fastest thing. It's actually SCSS or whatever, like the there is a compiler out there that is so gosh darn fast that it actually shaves off a lot of time then I would switch immediately because uh, as I said like uh, feature wise these things are practically interchangeable and the only thing I care about is to be able to compile together the files and everything else when I write CSS is completely standard always and I do this because I want to keep the keep the complexity and overhead as low as humanly possible because I know that, especially in front-end, there is a fairly good, uh, big tendency to de get a little bit dependent on tooling that you don't really need, and you might actually suffer for it. One thing that is very, a very re a re a big reality is if you if you misuse the features in, say, SAS or CSS, the output of your CSS will actually be worse than if you hand wrote the thing yourself. Your file will actually be bigger, and there's not really much you can do about that because the code is generated. And that's why I don't do it, because I simply know that although it's nice and convenient to be able to save a few characters here and there with, uh, with uh, the syntax in these, uh, in these pseudo languages, uh, it's just not worth it for me. I'm not saving uh, enough time for it to be something that I want to use. So what I want you to take away from this is that my personal choice uh, when I work with CSS is to use post CSS with only the import capability. The o that's the only model I uh, module I use from the uh, from the tool suite. And then I create a main entry point file, which is just the thing that I, I point my CLI towards. And then I have a watcher, 
that just watches that file and in that file I just do every single import statement that I have it's just one big big file of imports and then I just from there on write uh, standard CSS and the output is as minimalistic and then I use BEM of course uh, uh, to express myself uh, with classes and so forth and as I was saying for me this creates the simplest and most minimalist uh, minimalistic uh, workflow that I can have and I can do all the things that I need it that doesn't mean that the others aren't good it's just that most of the features I don't need and if I found out that there's a faster way to do this then with post CSS then I would switch and still have exactly the same workflow because the things that I need exists in SAS, CSS, CSS, less, you name it. It's basic functionality and then it's just plain old CSS on top. Have a great day.